Welcome to John Lewis 3D Learning. In this presentation, we are going to see 5th Standard, Term 3, Science, Unit 3, Yad Chapter, English Medium, Exercise number 1, 2 and 3, from page number 105 and 106. So, the first type is choose the correct answer. There are 5 questions. Let us see one by one now. First question is chlorofluorocarbon is used in, chlorofluorocarbon is a chemical substance used as a coolant. A, option A is refrigerator, B, air conditioner, C, both, both means what? Both refrigerator and air conditioner here, both A and B. And D is none of the above. So in fact, chlorofluorocarbon chemical is used as a coolant in both refrigerator and air conditioner. The four answer C is the correct one. The four answer C, both A and B. Okay, now let's move on to the second question. Which of the following gas is released by automobiles? A. Carbon monoxide B. Oxygen C. Hydrogen D. Hydrogen So you would have seen black smoke coming out from the smoking pipe of bike, car or any vehicle. So that the black smoke coming out of that smoking pipe in all automobiles is nothing but what? Carbon monoxide That is what is black in color That is why black smokes are coming out from the automobiles Therefore, what is the answer here? A. Carbon monoxide. So, which of the following gas is released by automobile? What is the answer? A. Carbon monoxide. Now, let's move on to the third question. A windmill is used to produce. You might have seen windmills, no? In so many places, especially near hill stations. Because near hill stations, lots of wind will be blowing. So, those winds will be used to rotate that windmills and which is used to produce energy. And they are asking the question, which type of energy is produced by windmills? A. Chemical energy, B. Mechanical energy, C. Electrical energy, and D. All of this. So, in fact, we are producing electricity from windmill, isn't it? Therefore, the answer is C. Electric energy. A windmill is used to produce C. Electric energy. Now, let's move on to the fourth question. Influenza is caused by, so what we call influenza shortly, flu, flu fever, isn't it? That's nothing but flu. So influenza is caused by A, fungus, B, bacteria, C, virus, and D, protozoa. So in fact, that influenza is caused by virus, C, virus. Okay, now the last question of this type. Height of mesosphere which lies after troposphere is? A 70 to 75 km, B 75 to 80 km, then C 80 to 85 km and D 85 to 90 km. So we, we have already learned five spheres are there in the atmosphere. So what is the height of the troposphere? So answer B 75 to 80 km. So the height of the mesosphere which lies after troposphere is 75 to 80 km. Now let us move on to the second type, fill in the blanks. The second highest layer of Earth's atmosphere is, what is that? Thermosphere. So you should know the order of near the Earth, what is the sphere and what is the second nearest to the Earth. Like this, this is the, what they are asking, second highest layer of Earth's atmosphere is thermosphere. Then second question, releasing substances like chemical compounds into atmosphere is known as what? Releasing substances like chemical compounds into atmosphere is known as air pollution. So they may ask you in brief answer also, what is meant by air pollution? Same answer you can give there. Okay, what is the third question? Airborne diseases can be caused by what? Airborne diseases can be caused by Microorganisms. Microorganisms. Learn the spellings correctly. Okay, then fourth question. The dash layer protects us from harmful UV rays coming from the sun. So actually ozone protects us. That ozone layer is present in which layer? Uh, which sphere? Stratosphere. What is it called? Stratosphere. Learn the spelling correctly. Stratosphere. Okay, what is the last fill in the type of question? Dash is used by plants as nitrates. So nitrates will contain what? Nitrogen. Nitrogen is present in what? Air. Therefore, plants can use 
nitrogen in here therefore what will be the answer here nitrogen is used by plants as nitrates from where nitrogen comes nitrogen is present in air where is air present air is present in the atmosphere therefore plants absorbs that nitrogen and use it as nitrates okay i quickly read it one more time second highest layer of earth's atmosphere is thermosphere or we will see it uh, we can check it out here second highest layer of earth's atmosphere is what thermosphere releasing substances like chemical compounds into the atmosphere is known as air pollution airborne diseases can be caused by dash what is that microorganisms the dash layer protects us from the harmful uv rays coming from the sun actually ozone layer but which is present in which sphere stratosphere therefore the stratosphere layer protects us from harmful uv rays coming from the sun dash is used by plants as nitrates nitrogen is used by plants as nitrates hope it's very clear so if you want to learn it once again pause the video here read it again and learn it thoroughly now let us move on to the third type so match the following first let us see what are the five points they have given in the left hand side troposphere stratosphere exosphere thermosphere and mesosphere Uh, these are the five things they have given it in the left hand side now let us see one by one what is given in the right hand side and what matches with that satellite so satellite will be present in which sphere exosphere okay next one spacecraft so where can be where spacecraft can be located it can be located in thermosphere okay what is the next one ozone layer ozone layer is present where just now i told you no ozone layer is present in which sphere stratosphere okay what's the next one meteors so meteors are present in what mesosphere so you can easily remember both starts with m m mesosphere starts with m and meteors also start with m so what is the last one weather change the only one left on the left hand side what is it troposphere so all weather changes can take place in which sphere troposphere all weather changes can be taken place only in troposphere okay so just quickly you do it one more time so what are the things given there troposphere stratosphere exosphere thermosphere and mesosphere what is the first one satellite so satellite will be present in which sphere exosphere then second one spacecraft will be present where in thermosphere hope you you are getting the answer before i explain it and third one ozone layer that will be present in which sphere stratosphere and meteors present will be will be present in which sphere mesosphere both starts in m m i told you mesosphere and meteors both starts with the letter m so easy to remember and then troposphere weather change all weather changes can take place only in troposphere hope you understood this very clearly hope you like it and you enjoy learning from me so if you like it please click the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe this channel for immediate updates thank you very much for watching until we meet next time bye bye